So the first thing um, I would like to show you is Interactive Book, which has been released, I think, kind of four weeks ago, like um, briefly after my last live stream. So that was bad timing for me, but um, here it is. So if you know that page, it's hrefp.org, and you can click on examples and downloads. And then you need to scroll down a little because this list of items grew a little and here you will find interactive book. And if you go and click on that, of course you know that it will open. And I think it's a pretty, pretty nice looking um, content type and pretty useful. So um, actually it's, um, yeah, it, well the name says it all, it's a book. And uh, this is just the front page of the book and we can now open the book if we click on read and it will look like this and I think full screen might be more interesting so we can go to full screen and uh, as you can see on the left you have some kind of um, what is it called uh, the contents uh, of the, um, the list of contents of the of the book you could imagine both as pages maybe strawberries is a page raspberries is a page blueberries is a page and berry squeeze is a page so that is what you see on the right side the uh, strawberries page and as you can see um, yeah, there's an image and then we have some text and then we have an image hotspot interaction you know uh, probably and uh, I don't know what that is probably uh, also just some text or a table and then you can have um, interactions with you want to and it, basically this is a column if you know the column content type this is uh, inside here and um, of course you could I don't know maybe uh, where was the first garden strawberry uh, grown um, hmm, I don't know Let's just say UK. That was wrong. Okay, it was in France. Uh, so you can um, answer the questions here. So that's why it's an interactive book. So um, basically, uh, as you know, uh, when I was in school, we had books and we had to mark everything on paper. And actually, I can now do that digitally. And um, here on the left hand side, you can already see okay, um, this page seems to have been started because we have this half full symbol. And now I would have to complete that, of course, to show you more. And uh, I'll just randomly click somewhere just to show you how that works. So we now have answered that one. And we can see, okay, the strawberry squeeze is done. So that has this full dot in front. And uh, if we scroll down a little, we uh, have to complete that one as well. I don't know, just some random ingredients. Okay, that was not perfect, but that is done now. So this interaction is done and now, now this one is also fully fully filled is it a word or a combination of words okay um, so now as a user as a learner can see okay I've done this chapter and I can close it and go to the next one or the next page could be raspberries so I could, could do that as, as well and then go to the next one and the next one until I'm done or when I think I'm finished I can go to summary and submit and I will get a report so I think this looks pretty nice and um, will, will, will tell me how many uh, points I, I scored. And if I think, um, yeah, it's fine and I don't want to do anything again, I can just submit the report. And um, if you're running it in Moodle, for instance, or in, on hrefi.com or some other system that catches the X API statements, you can get that report as a teacher and uh, check it later. So this is interactive book. It's really not. Um, yeah, no, I was what was told I shouldn't say this is nothing special because for me as a developer this is not that special. Of course, it's a lot of work had to be put into it, um, but basically it's a book. It's um, as I said, this column and it had has been put into a wrapper, so to speak, uh, with this content uh, list of contents, and um, yeah, you can create books now, and uh, of course. This is only a demo and I tried to come up with my own uh, twist of an interactive book and I can show you that as well. Um, it's kind of uh, kind of a coincidence because um, on that page here, you don't have to know that page, but uh, it's a, a German page which uh, hosts free courses and I created a course on H5P, so uh, that would look that way. Um, Done, has been done in WordPress and uh, you can just uh, see all the lessons here um, you can click through them they contain videos and interactions and all the stuff that you know from H5P and I thought hmm might be interesting to um, add a little bonus feature at the end because there we have an interactive book 
which contains the whole course that I created here. So it's kind of inceptional. Um, yeah, so, but I can start the course here and now you would see, of course, this uh, is little, little uh, filled stuff, I don't know, but uh, I don't know, we can, as you can see, there is, what was this one, um, this was just like um, how to learn uh, to, to um, there were some examples of, of what H5P can offer, so I have a video for image hotspots and for multiple choice and for speed rewards and stuff like that, so. Um, that might be an interesting use case for interactive book actually to have like self-contained courses that you can share and reuse and uh, give to others um yeah so that it's not much yet i know um yeah maybe you're interested in the history of course um and this has been in the working quite a while because there was an intern at Yubel, the company that um uh, created H5P and uh, an intern actually started the iconotype but uh, he left and it wasn't finished and there were no resources to complete it so it took some time to complete but now it is done and uh, I know that it will get some extra features I think I remember there was a search field option that should be there so you can um, of course if it's a book you maybe you, you need to want to find a special um, chapter or whatever special topic and you can just enter your keywords and you will find the page but that ha has not been done yet but it's it, it's about to be implemented I don't know when but it will 